Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, well, today, um, if you didn't read the title, I am going to be modding a PCIe extension cable to make it look much better because the current one just looks absolutely horrible. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it too because it's simple and why not? makes for a more interesting video I think but anyways so yeah what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some spray paint some tape and you're gonna need your extension cable the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna remove the tape around the solder connections that's already there because it looks terrible of course because why would you want blue tape and if you look at the solder connections they're actually really horrible you can sort of like Closely, I mean, better than I can do if it's made by a person, but you know, that's not what you should get in a product. Okay, you can see all over here, it's like burned and stuff. So now I'm just gonna take it off both sides to, uh, you know, because when you take it off both sides, why don't I have to explain that? I don't know, but yeah, so it's pretty crap. I think those cables they're using are IDE cables. They were using the ID cables, but yeah, now we take off the uh, PCB. Make sure you get it exactly lined up with the end of the cable, because if you cover the cable, there'll be a cable that's not painted, and it'll look really weird. So you're going to do that for both sides, and make sure you close up around the uh, things. Like, it doesn't have to be like, um, it just needs to work well enough, and because, I mean, the odds that you get, like, paint on in the connectors they're kind of slim especially if you like well it depends on the, how you paint it if you painted it with like okay well if you do everything right it should be fine if you apply excessive amounts of paint and like your it's it'll and it's hanging it might drip down into the thing but don't so don't apply excessive amounts of paint uh but anyways yeah now we're on to painting and speaking of painting don't take any painting advice from me i mean what i just said is kind of advice but not really just you know if you want to know how to paint not like I, I, um like spray paint i'm pretty good at other type of painting but uh if you want to learn how to uh spray paint don't learn from me that's why i'm not going to tell you go watch someone else's video if you actually try to attempt this because first time i tried to attempt it i did it horribly and i don't know I still haven't done super well, but I think it's a little bit better than before. I don't know. Like, it's not great. It's much better than the first time I started painting something, which is my RGB hard drive video. You should go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, um, I don't know. It's better than before, but again, it's not great. We're also going to want to paint the inside of the cable so that like because when it's bending it's not going to be completely flat and you want to be, have the inside covered so if you see the inside it's not gray and red and you know it looks much better So here's where I'm painting the inside and I actually like I was too lazy to go like put on five coats of paint on the inside. So what I did is I just put on a couple heavy coats because it was on the inside it wasn't going to look. No one was really going to look at it closely. I mean it could have dripped down and ruined my thing so it's not recommended that you do it. But you just apply a few. It can be a little bit heavier but just make sure there's no dripping, otherwise it might drip inside the connector and, you know, ruin things. But anyway, so now we're done painting, we can remove the tape, and as you can see, everything looks much nicer now that we've finished painting it. And, you know, like that right there isn't actually 
um, paint drippings. It's just the burn marks and the soldering. Um, I'll show, well, there was a little bit of paint drippage, which I will show you in just a second. It's on this side once I get the tape off. And if you think this took a long time to get the tape off, it's actually sped up. So it did, well, I mean, you'll probably tell that, but, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get tape off. But yeah, as you can see there, there, there's a little bit of paint drippage, which isn't ideal. But, you know, it works fine, so there's no problem with that. And, yeah, so now what we're going to do is apply some uh, tape where they have and uh, basically there's not too much to this you just want to make sure it fits all the way over and overlaps on the edges just a little bit and make sure it just uh, for this side at least so you just put two of those pieces of it, trim away the extras when you're done so that you can get a, nice, a cleaner look on your cable the other side of the cable is a little bit trickier um, because you have to make sure that it doesn't overlap the, uh, the connection points so just make sure you line it up directly over the I mean directly on the edge of the gold so that way you don't see any of the grain but you don't cover up the gold either making sure that it um, still can connect your GPU or whatever you're extending still can actually be used because you know it won't work if you can't act if the I'm going too in depth about this you know you know what I mean Right here is super annoying. I had a piece of tech and then I put another one on the other side and it stuck to it and picked up the tape. So yeah, that was really annoying. So I had to do it over again. This is like sped up five times the original speed. It took me forever to do this and it's probably still a little long in the video, but I'm going to keep it like this. It's fine. So yeah, I think this is the part where I messed up. As you can see, I kind of just left the tape and then the two ends stick together and then it pulls the, them both off. So yeah, had to redo that one. So yeah, now we're just gonna test it, make sure it works, show it off a little bit, I guess. I think everything is working fine. Where's, where am I? Basically finished with that clip, good. So yeah, I don't actually finish putting this on the video, but you know. You know what I mean, or do, whatever. If you need the little holes in the thing, you can just cut them, I guess, somehow. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of an afterthought, but anyways, yeah, we're just going to plug it in right here. As you can see, uh, the annoying thing about these cables is that they don't actually have a little clip on the end that goes into the thing, so they're not as sturdy as they would they could have been and you can also see on the edge there some of the red is showing through which is not the most desirable thing but i mean you don't really notice it when it's actually in a build with the vertical gpu um but you know here you kind of do i mean you know ideally you can just paint that over and if you do it yourself you should probably just do that and it'll look much better just make sure you get the sides covered 100 percent, and everything should be fine so yeah, they're just gonna plug it into my little sort of test bench with the world's best GPU ever, right? And just trying to figure out where to put it because I'm just gonna like lay it down. Cause so usually you get to put it on top of the fan. And I was like, you know, I mean, just like I knew it was choke the CPU, but I was like, eh, probably not the best idea. So yeah, just turning it on, turning on the monitor, and still works.
So, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please, I would appreciate it uh, so if you subscribe. And, yeah, just thank you very much, and goodbye.